Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. <clears throat> and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Virgo and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. What does Virgo need to hear for the week, please? Okay, so the card is Virgo energy as well. Oh, three of pentacles and we have the nine of pentacles, Virgo. Nine of pentacles is Virgo energy. So let's pull another card. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Virgos. And it will be 25th to the 31st of January, 2021. Okay. Friendship. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Oh my goodness. So the card I have is Hello from Heaven. Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Absolutely beautiful there, Virgo. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards this week, Virgo. The first card is the issue or challenge you face for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card the outcome should you take the advice and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so message for virgo please angel spirits guides message for our lovely virgos thank you okay i have the king of pentacles generally taurus for me as a reader can be you it's your challenge position we have the justice card And the King of Swords. So Aquarian energy there. Okay. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into this message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. 25th to the 31st of January 2021. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Swords. Justice card is a card is clarified with the nine of pentacles. Lovely energy there, Virgo. And the King of Swords is a card of the is, is linked with the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Pentacles here. Now it's interesting, I mean, the King and Queen of Pentacles can signify a relationship. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles, please, for Virgo, thank you. Let's clarify. The King of Pentacles for Virgo. Okay, so I've got the Fool with the King of Pentacles. Um, the Fool is a card of liberation, new beginnings. So it feels, I mean, this obviously the timing is fluid. This could have happened days, weeks, months, years ago. Um, 
It feels like you liberated yourself from what this King of Pentacles represents. It's not necessarily just a Taurus or an Earth sign, but it's somebody who embodies these energies. Somebody stable, secure, can be head of household, breadwinner, male or female energy. Um, somebody with very success um, in their own right. Generally reliable and trustworthy. Uh, and again, there's a feeling of this new beginning. Because for some of you, it felt the challenge was something came to light news information a discovery um some truth maybe that caused you to evaluate take stock and again with the fool being li the liberation energy it feels like maybe take stock and liberate yourself from a relationship i mean because it's over the fool it might well be for some of you this could have happened to you or you'd did this to the other person you know it can be that kind of energy virgo because the knights do represent change and and generally this kind of night represents some kind of truth news information um piece of information coming to light here that caused you to take stock evaluate and the the nine of pentacles is a card of independence it's appearing twice in your reading it is a card of independence, but it is a card of, of feeling pretty. I mean, it's a good feeling energy, the Nine of Pentacles. It's somebody who stands in their own right, in their own success, in their own abundance, being very successful in terms of money, career, providing for themselves, their family, you know, call it what you will. Um, so it feels in this situation, there could have been some, I mean, sometimes justice can represent separation it can represent legal proceedings or legal situations that have again i'm feeling this kind of independent energy that have have but there's definitely i mean sometimes justice can be a card of some kind of legal decision or arbitration decision that also, I mean, in terms of money, it might well be going in your favour. Generally, when justice appears in your reading, there's generally an energy of truth is on your side, things going in your favour. So liberating from a relationship going in your favour, some kind of decision going in your favour, maybe being awarded the money, the resources that you need to stand in your own self-worth, self-esteem and security. You know, it's that kind of energy. So it's a lovely energy because justice is stands in the light of truth and generally if there's a decision from justice it restores balance you know it is the law of balance doing the right thing uh, the right thing being restored so that kind of energy i mean this is also a situation if there hasn't been if this isn't to do with legal situations it's a card of something is restoring balance into your life because spirit is saying that you will stand in your own light and feel pretty good about it provide for yourself um, your, your people you care about. Um, this is a card of abundance, self-sufficiency, financial independence. So it definitely feels in this energy. It feels in this energy, Virgo, that, you know, spirit is definitely saying that you have the ability to stand in your own light, self-worth, self-esteem. You know, this is what I deserve and I don't deserve less than that. And it's interesting because that seven is a seven and then, my, then I have a nine. It feels like, you know, there's this kind of energy of you deserve more. Now I'm going to go over here, Virgo, because we've touched on the nine of pentacles and it is your overarching energy. And the three of coins is a card of rebuilding, um, and it feels like building up a new life for yourself. I mean, you could have focused on your money and career. You could have focused on what is going to bring you financial security, stability, all of this kind of thing. The three of coins is manifesting something new. And for some of you, that you could have had help. I mean, that could have been this friendship and it's been guided towards you. Um, so in helping rebuild your life and again, standing in your own success, self-esteem, self-worth providing for yourself um feeling of abundance and pretty good about it, feeling pretty good about it uh this can also be to do with home property as well doing up a home doing up a, a new property maybe for some of you um so it feels that's the kind of energy that i'm getting here 
This friendship is an interesting one because it could be somebody who's helped you through the situation or you could be striking up a new friendship with somebody because I'm definitely seeing that with this King of Swords. Um, King of Swords is an honourable person, very honourable, very fair, does the right thing, stands in the light of truth. Yeah. So it definitely feel. I mean, there could be some kind of new opportunity being presented to you here, Virgo, with an Aquarius or somebody who embodies the energy of what the King of Swords represents, male or female energy. But the, the Ace of Wands is an exciting opportunity. It promises such potential. There's real potential with this. And it's clarifying the King of Swords, which is there's potential and it feels to do with a person new romantic connection I feel where there's real potential real growth um, it feels very very beautiful indeed I love this energy love this energy um, because you know you have an opportunity again we have like the, the castle at the end building a new castle with somebody um, It might well even tie in with this to do with home and property with somebody new. Um, you know, maybe long term moving in with somebody. It feels that kind of energy. You're definitely being told there's something exciting, um, a new passion, a new chemistry, a new connection, attraction most definitely. Um, and it's definitely with somebody who is very honourable, very fair. They are who they say they are. You know, the King of Swords is generally a very fair energy. Um, and, and Germany stands in the light of truth, you know, the, it feels, it feels very beautiful because the Queen of Pentacles is a card of healing. And again, there's definitely this energy of you've healed, you know, you've reconnected to who you are, you're standing in your own light, your own security and happiness. And there's definitely an energy with the Queen of Pentacles, which I feel this is you, Virgo. Um, it feels, you know, this is somebody who represents growth, who represents nurturing energy, somebody who is very practical, but there's growth. I mean, she is water and earth. So there's definitely this energy of growth again. I'm getting this growth energy. There's such potential and growth, and it feels to do with a new relationship. And it could be being born out of friendship and that's why you're being told here your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings because there's definitely an energy of everything is going to be okay and for some of you you might be striking up a new friendship with somebody where there's chemistry attraction uh, it definitely feels in this situation Virgo uh, it is leading to something exciting but it feels like this is just the opportunity the potential of that now uh i definitely get with the nine of pentacles being your overarching energy there's definitely the energy of you're ready for a new relationship but it feels like some kind of friendship may grow into something more uh very exciting energy so i'm going to pull a final card Final message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it doesn't surprise me. We have antelope new pathways. Consider whether you are happy on your current path. And it feels like you're coming to that point where you have an opportunity to open a door and it feels with somebody new. Having recovered, standing in your own success, self-esteem, self-worth. There is a new pathway open to you and we have the hair strength take time to make clear decisions bring awareness and light to the situation lovely energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading virgo if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you